Hey guys, what's good? So today we are doing the first upgrade on my MacBook Pro you see here that my pretty little kitty happens to be sitting on right here in this package. I don't want you guys to see it because my address is there and I think I want my little cat kitty here to sit here as long as possible for the video. But in that package you see over there that my cat sitting on is 16 gigabytes of RAM for this MacBook. Sorry baby girl, gonna move you. Gotta go bye bye, okay? Okay, honey. Okay. All right. Sorry, honey. Bye. I've been really looking forward to doing this for this MacBook, so we'll go ahead and unbox this for you guys, or unwrap it, really. Um, you can see here, this is probably just the Amazon info and all that good stuff for myself. And right here, we do have the RAM. This, of course, is third-party RAM. This isn't official Apple RAM because, you know, um, technically the late 2011 MacBooks don't support 8 gigabytes. Or, no, not they don't technically support 16 gigabytes of RAM. But from everyone that I've heard and everyone does it, um, they perfectly handle 16 gigs of RAM just fine. So finishing up opening this whole entire package here, let's see if this is the real deal. Although the computer will tell if it's truly the real deal. But there goes that. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1333. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1333. So, yep. Two, two sticks of 8 gigabytes of, well, 8. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. 8 gigabyte stick, 8 gigabyte stick. By the way, if you're wondering how much all this costs, um, it's costing me $93.99 for this RAM. So just to show you that this MacBook currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM, we'll go ahead and open up this little girl here. This is my little baby here. I love this MacBook and everything, so you know. I'm um, just going to go into about this Mac real quick, and you can see for yourself going in here. Yep. Memory, 8 gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3 RAM. All right, yep, right here you can see your Mac contains two memory slots, each of which accept a 1333 megahertz DDR3 module. It can actually do 1600 megahertz uh, as far as I'm aware of, but um, I couldn't find any 16 gigabyte um, kits for um, 1600 megahertz RAM. I don't think it'll make that big of a difference though, but you can see here two sticks of four gigabytes. So we're going up to two sticks of eight gigabytes now. So I'm just going to show you guys that I'm going to shut this laptop down and then I'll do a quick little, um, what do you want to call it, time lapse of me just upgrading it. You saw already that it has eight gigs of RAM in it currently, soon to be going to 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm so excited for this. Next up is an SSD, of course, but not yet. I'm waiting on that for right now, and I'll explain that at the end of the video. So, some people might not care about, you know, the whole finish of the top of their laptop. They don't care if there's scratches and dents on it. Personally, I like to keep my, stu my stuff looking nice. So, I recommend if you ever do this to your own MacBook, get a pillow and then lay the bottom of it. Um, like this that way, you know the top doesn't get scratched up I do know the bottom of this laptop is already pretty scratched up a little bit But that's kind of to be expected from a six-year-old laptop So either way, it's not really that big of a deal either. This is the only time I'm actually looking at the bottom So let's begin the time-lapse of me upgrading the RAM JK I lied I'll show you guys a little bit of the steps here So obviously to get to the RAM slots you have to open up the bottom of the MacBook So just take a little screwdriver a little small one. I got a nice kit um, to open this up but just take a small screwdriver and you know just unscrew the bottom go ahead and keep these organized too so that way they're in the correct spots when you do um, you know put this all back together so just take all these little screws here you see all of them come out and then once you get them all out you'll just be able to like you know just pop and swap this little thing here All right, after some time, your all your screws will be completely undone. This is the first time this laptop is ever getting opened, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm about to steal the virginity of this laptop. So three, two, one, and it just comes off like that. And boom, here is the insides of this laptop. JK, I lied. I have not stolen the virginity of this laptop. It's already been taken by some other man out there. Ugh, how disgusting. 
ugh, I'm touching used hardware here. <laughs> anyway, um, obviously right here, I mean, this is something that Apple would never do with their laptops. And I can see here, this has already been upgraded too. So um, this isn't an, an official Apple uh, RAM. The, the official Apple RAM would be blue. And um, I don't know about the HDD, if this is the original HDD or not. But either way, it looks like both of these things here have been touched before, which isn't a big deal because I'm about to touch them too. Now, you technically are supposed to unplug the battery, but this is obviously for personal use. If you were doing this for a client or something, then I do highly recommend to kill all sources of power by unplugging your battery. But this is for personal use. The only person liable for this laptop is myself. So, you know, maybe you'll criticize me for not unplugging the battery, but I'm not going to because I don't care. It's just RAM. It's not going to do much anyway. So um, it's pretty easy to upgrade it or take out the RAM here. You just, you know, pull those little pins there. And then the RAM just, you know, comes out just like that. This one here I'm going to time lapse though because this takes a little bit more time since it's a little bit more buried. And with a little bit of wiggling and tuggling, the RAM has came out. This is the last time I'm ever going to be doing this to this laptop. That, well, actually, no, that's a lie, because once the GPU fails in this thing, I'll be doing this again. But this is the last time I'll ever be doing this to this laptop um, for a while, so I always hate getting that bottom module out, because it's always so scary um, the way it comes out and everything. It's just, like, stuck in there. So now it's time to put in the new RAM. Right here is our wonderful 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is the moment of truth right here. Let's see, am I doing this right? I remember the time that I upgraded the RAM in the crack book. I completely failed. So let's see if I can do a better job this time around. Let's see, can I do a better job this time? Oops, I just accidentally touched the fan, lols. Um, and just like that, it should go down. Yep, just like that. It looks to be in. And just like that, we got the RAM in. Fairly simple, as I said. It's easy on these MacBooks, on the Retina MacBooks. I don't even know if it's possible. I've never uh, worked on Retina MacBook Pros before. I've only worked on iBook G4s and pre-Retina MacBook Pros. So comment down below whether, um, if you know how to upgrade the RAM in the Retina MacBook Pros, if it's even possible. So... Yeah. Now, just to test if this thing even works, don't screw it up yet because, hey, something might not be working, something might not be fully in place, so sorry about that, just had to flip the laptop over. Um, so just go ahead, leave the thing on, just not screwed in, and open her up, and this is the moment of truth. If it even works, I really hope it is. $93 spent on this thing for twice the amount of RAM, so three, two, one. And we're about to see. All right, good signs, good signs. It did boot up and everything. So that is a good sign that is working. So going into here now, let's see. Sure, it may boot up, but do both sticks, uh, are they recognized here? So about this Mac. <gasps> Yay, look, 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 look. 16 gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3 RAM. 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16. Once you have made sure that everything is fully functional like I have, you can go ahead, flip it all around one more time, and go ahead and screw it all back together. Now, some of you may be asking, Lucas, why the heck did you just upgrade the RAM in your laptop when you can't really even take full advantage of it without an SSD because you all just want me to get an SSD for this laptop so bad it's all you guys beg for in the comments section you're like get an SSD for your MacBook Pro get an SSD oh my god and I'll tell you why I've been wanting to do some form of upgrade to this laptop that is relatively quick and easy without a lot of work and obviously upgrading the RAM that's an easy drop and swap literally there's no configuration necessary it's just open up the back, take out the, the dims, put the new dims in, put the back on, screw it back together, boot it up, see if it works, and if it works, and hey, it worked. It's as easy as that. Now, um, also, the reason why I didn't get an SSD, because you guys, I know you're going to ask why didn't I get an SSD first, is because, yes, I do plan on getting an SSD for this thing next. That's obviously the last upgrade I can do for this laptop. And, um... Yes, there's the option of taking out the optical drive in this laptop and putting an SSD in there. But in my opinion, this now this is just an opinion. I know some other people would take out the optical drive. But that's kind of the cheap way out. Not always, not always, because there are different combinations you can do. The, 
the sky is the limits when you take out the optical drive. But if I were to take out the optical drive, I'd just put in a cheap like 120 gig SSD, use that as my boot drive and also for um, just launching applications, and then use the 500 gigabyte um, drive to, as just like a um, medium for storing photos and stuff. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is keep the optical drive because I do use it. I'm one of the only people that still use the optical drive to this day. And I want to just completely get rid of the hard drive inside this thing and put a 500 gigabyte solid state drive, which costs about $200. So that's double the price of the RAM. Plus, I got to take the time to reinstall both operating systems. Yes, I know there are things such as Carbon Copy Cloner and Time Machine itself that can do that. But I want to start completely fresh on this thing because when I got this laptop, it came with... Um, what did it come with? It came with El Capitan on it, completely set up and everything. So this laptop hasn't even had a fresh start to it yet. When I do get an SSD, what's going to happen is I'm going to have all my stuff saved on an external drive, which I do still need to buy. So right there, I'm going to have to spend about $250 for that whole project, spend the whole day doing that, all that stuff. So it's just a timely project that I want to save for like a couple months down the road and stuff. I do plan on getting, getting an SSD, guys. Don't think I'm just getting one, or not getting one, I should say, because I'm dumb or ignorant. It's not that. It's just a timely process that I'm just waiting for that special moment when I can actually do it. So, I hope that clears up the confusion with you guys, because I know a ton of you have been begging for an SSD, uh, or for me to get an SSD for this thing. It's in the works. It's going to happen no matter what. This was just upgrade one of two. Um, two being, of course, the SSD. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy and go ahead and follow my Twitter and Instagram if you'd like. It is at the Apple Buyer. No spaces will be in the left corner of the video. Again, thank you for watching and peace.